Have you seen any broccoli around? Yeah, have you not been down that end yet? All oh, right, OK. I put these up all over London, became known as the Broccoli Man. And then about three and a half years ago, some Chinese girls came in. They said, we, we lost our friends in Shoreditch and found them by following the lovely Broccoli Trail. So they said, we want to buy the street art. I said, no, the street art isn't for sale. So I said, OK, come back next week and I'll put a bit of broccoli in a frame for you. So they came back the following week with another 20 yes. girls from their university. I made them all broccoli in a frame. They took them back to China, put them on social media. Within one month, I was selling 100 broccolis every week. <laughs> and then it was 200 every week, then 300 every week, now it's 400 every week and rising. So now I'm a slave to the broccoli. <laughs> I've sold over 30,000 broccoli in three and a half years. That's more broccoli than Tesco sells. <laughs> yeah, the reason why I chose broccoli is not only is it one of the most healthiest vegetables you can eat, but it's also one of the funniest things you can use as a piece of art, because it looks like a tree, looks like a brain, looks like a nuclear explosion. But on the whole, the reason I used it is because um, it brought a smile to everyone's faces. I do most of the work by myself um, because I think that um, people should have artwork created by the artist and not by uh, like a production line where other people are involved. I make a considerable amount of money from it, uh, although um, the money goes really fast uh, because the cost of renting uh, these two galleries and paying staff and buying materials, it does tend to drain away the funds. If I was financially well off, um, I would still be creative, but I wouldn't be uh, creative where it's taken me to the extremes of exhaustion. So it's been full on making lots of broccolis, but my other artwork, like my collars, has suffered. It's taken a bit of a back seat at the moment. I've briefly tried to do a few collages, uh, but then I've been torn away by the need to create um, broccolis in the frame for the masses. It's, it's, it's factory made, it's commercial, and uh, which has nothing to do with the collage work um, because the energies are totally different. You always get a, a sense of therapy from doing 
creative things. It's like going into a big sleep and you forget about everything else. And when you come out of it, it's sort of, you think, oh, I'd rather be back there, but I have to come back out of it to deal with the physical things of everyday life. So yeah, wallowing in that place is fantastic, I love it. I'm not really, I'm, I'm getting sick of doing the broccoli because it's so full on. It's become a, a, a big, big demand. So the supply has to keep coming every single week. So I'll have to create 400 broccolis in a week and frame them and order frames from Ikea. And so everything has to be um, in the right order. If I don't get my frames on time, then I'm losing time in creating for the weekend. When the weekend, I'll have up to 100,000 tourists here. In fact, many a times I wanted to kill off the rock man <laughs> just to continue with the collage. I haven't killed the broccoli man yet because it hasn't been the right time. There's a right time for things to be finished and I'll know that time when it comes. Oh, I'm going to take off the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 